Welcome everyone to another video and in this video I'm going to be featuring battles from Snow Tapper's Lavrus. I think that's how you pronounce it. I see a lot of people say Larvis, but I think it's Lavrus. Uh, this is in the Ember Cup meta. Uh, Snow Tappers are uh, EU faction playing in the highest tier Emerald. Uh, I believe they actually won the last cycle, which is very impressive considering um, the reigning um, Still Factions World Championship team also plays in the same tier and in the same region. Uh, so it's very, very impressive they were able to win. And part of the reason why they won is that Lavrus went 23-1 and one in Factions, which is an absolutely incredible win rate. Uh, probably the best that's ever been done in, in Emerald at any tier, especially in, in EU. And the, the meta is the Ember Cup, uh, which consists of Electric, a fire, grass, and ground, uh, along with uh, several other Pokemon included, and several bands. It's uh, definitely a meta that requires a significant amount of energy management. Understanding your Pokemon is certainly uh, a very dynamic cup, which some people thrive in, as uh, Bladverse has here, and then some people do struggle with. Uh, and it is is a pretty pretty interesting one. I see a decent amount of battles in this uh, cup. So we're going to be showing. Uh, four different matches um, from from last cycle from Labrys. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. Uh, the opponent is Matteo Rob, I believe. And they actually have mirror teams. A couple things to consider. Uh, typically, Polyrath has Scald. Mudshot's called Dynamic Punch. Charizard typically has Wing Attack. Uh, Minin usually has Quick Attack in this meta. Just better in the mirror. It's also like uh, better against like I guess if you run against Pylos Wine or something. Uh, seeing Quillfish can have a number of different moves, uh, but typically Aqua Tail is pretty important just because there are quite a few Charizards in the meta. And then um, yeah, those are probably the main move sets to to consider. I think Victini probably has Quick Attack as well, uh, but they are playing a Mirror team. So let's go ahead and get started here and uh, take a look at these at these battles. So if you've ever seen or been a part of any high-level factions match, you know that the lock-in takes absolutely forever. Uh, typically, these teams uh, will share their screen. These players will share their screen uh, with the rest of their team members, and the team members will have all sorts of theories and discussions on what lines and teams are on, what strategies. It becomes like a game at, at, this, at this level. Like There's like very few mistakes that that happen uh just because the there's so many high caliber players providing input counting providing directions making guesses on back lines so usually the technical gameplay is extremely extremely high in uh in faction so we're gonna see charizard into mine which is obviously a bad lead for charizard gonna switch out right away into hasidian and quillfish there's really no um hard answer to quillfish so we just see the discharge get thrown, and then they come into their own quillfish. Gonna throw the aqua tail, uh, which does do neutral damage. Does a pretty nice chunk. Gonna throw the second one before they potentially throw. And pretty similar health here. It looks like they actually would have simul KO'd. So actually gonna choose to throw here. I don't know if it actually would have simul KO'd, but. I uh, could try to catch onto the Polyrath. Gonna go in Charizard and do one wing attack and catch, which is almost certainly the Aqua Tail. It's definitely the Aqua Tail. And uh, gets the nice farm down afterwards. Polyrath energy is really nice here. And we're gonna see what's gonna come in. Here comes mine in. And we are gonna see the Scald come through here. The Dynamic Punch would do slightly more. They do come into Charizard. Kind of a slow switch on their part. And uh, I'm not sure what this person recording the game is doing, but uh, that's okay. Uh, gets the huge early debuff. And uh, this is a very straightforward call. You definitely shield this. First off, the chance for the debuff. And as well, grab less shield. And then they'll be in Wing Attack and uh, Blast Burn range. And going to switch out. Gets another debuff here, which is absolutely critical at this point in time. Honestly, the debuff, once you got the first debuff, the game was 
was probably over, but the blast burn without either debuff there, the the uh blast burn wouldn't have KO'd, but it would have put it really, really low. And honestly, the polyrath would not have probably survived those wing attacks without the debuff. Uh so it does get to the Dragon Claw to KO this Minin. The Minin had energy, certainly had a move, but obviously with a shield up, there's really no point in throwing it. So it did have to try to attempt the, the farm down, which wasn't going to be possible at that point in time. All right. It does take a while to, to lock on in, so I am going to grab a quick drink here. Stay hydrated. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward a bit here. Let's see when this uh, opponent will lock in. All right, we're going to have Charizard into Charizard. And we'll see how they play this. Go into their own uh, Quillfish. And uh, this is just, just a Dragon Claw. And we see their Quillfish come in. Going to throw the Aqua Tail. Probably don't want to risk CMP, so I don't expect the opponent to throw right away. So it is able to get the Aqua Tail off, which will put this quill, opposing Quillfish very low. And they're going to have to throw. Okay, they actually end up shielding and able to farm down, which is very nice here. And gonna throw the Aqua Tail. And this Charizard is gonna farm down. And here comes mine in. Does resist the wing attacks and catches the absolutely gorgeous Blast Burn. Okay, gonna let this go. And we see, actually, it was a mirror team here. Uh, so gonna go straight Grass Knot here. Uh, doesn't do a lot, but we'll definitely two shot at this point in time. And uh, we will see what they do. They do end up shielding the Grass Knot. And gonna throw pretty late, hoping to get the KO. Does not KO, but uh, will easily survive this charge move. And then this Charizard is going to be much too low to be able to reach two Dragon Claws in order to win the game. So very well played. Pick up win number two against a very tough opponent here. And we're just going to speed this up here. It's going to take a little bit of a while. Actually choosing to lead Quillfish and going to bring in the Victini. Um... Okay, both of them have the same idea here. And uh, we will see what they're going to do. He does get the extra poison jab in, but going to have to return the favor. And uh, we will see what they do. I don't know who wins CMP. Okay, they actually end up losing CMP. Do you let this go or do you shield? Going to let this go. Oh, just barely able to survive, which is both good and bad here. Both, certainly both good and bad. Uh, oh, here comes, okay. Um, could try to catch a Grass Knot or try to catch a Discharge. Okay, we'll easily survive this here. Really nothing in the back wants to take uh, a V Create. Okay. V Create will do a ton of damage. Okay, they come into Charizard here. This is looking pretty good here. Um, obviously a little baity here. Uh, they end up baiting here with the Dragon Claw. This Discharge uh, will will KO, but likely they're almost certainly going to shield. And they, they'll probably have CMP tie with the next Discharge, so I probably wouldn't throw. Yeah, okay. They end up... I think you survive here, the, bl the Blast Burn, though. They actually bait again. Wow, that's kind of crazy here. That's kind of nuts. I was not expecting the bait. Okay. All right. This blast burn is going to do a tremendous amount of damage. 
It does enough to KO. Okay, gonna throw the V create onto the Minin. Doesn't want to take any additional fast move damage. And gonna be able to reach another V create here and take out the Charizard. And that's gonna be good game for this round. Picking up the very nice uh, 3-0. Just load it to, to the next match here. And uh, we are going to start off the matchup with a Polyroth Mirror. Uh, and this team, the teams are very similar. Uh, Lavers uh, has the exact same team as last week or the previous battle. And then the major differences here is uh, the Surfetch instead of Minim. And then a Rune Grigus instead of Victini. So we're going to be starting off with a Polyrath Mirror. And obviously you want to throw a Dynamic Punch. Uh, definitely don't shield this first one. They do throw the Dynamic Punch, does a tremendous amount of damage. Gonna throw a Dynamic Punch in return. Honestly, you just, okay, gonna switch out into Quillfish. Do you let this go? Gonna shield, they actually go for the Scald here. And then here comes uh, Quillfish. Let's see if this shield will end up paying off. We'll get a shield back or switch. Both of them are pretty good at this point in time. They win CMP, so. Okay, the opponent actually chose to throw there. It's interesting. Do you switch out here? It looks like they're going to choose to switch out. Okay, here comes Arunga Regis here. Do they run Rock Tomb? Hmm. Do they run Sand Tomb and uh, Shadow Ball here? Let's see. Going to call the bait or are they going to go for it? They actually end up going for the bla uh, the the move here. Going to throw the Blast Burn. Okay, gonna reach the Dragon Claw, which is pretty nice here. Okay, this will almost this is almost certainly will KO. And then uh, there's no shield left, but let, let's see. They do Sand Tomb here. Oh, okay. Oh man, okay, just barely able to get the farm down. And gonna have to, nope, gonna be able to land the Scald here and take out this Arunga Regis. And that is a GG, very well played, really technical end game there. And picks up the very nice first win here. And we're gonna go straight into the second game here. Okay, um, not sure what happened there, but that's fine. All right, we got run into the Polyrath Mirror. I believe they actually rematch one of these games here. Not sure if this is the the rematch or I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Does win CMB, which is helpful. Do you scald here in case they try to catch? Okay, was trying to catch. Ooh, gonna have to shield the skull though. Um kind of a I guess they were anticipating the switch as well. And then here comes Quillfish. Gonna go for the bait. I don't, maybe the Aqua Tail KO is here. Okay, do you shield this? You do. I'm going to try to CMP tie with the next Aqua Tail. going to go for the bait again. We will see if the opponent will shield. Going to have to throw another Dragon Claw here. Does get the CMP tie, which is absolutely humongous. Then you Poison Jab down. Probably the play. Okay. Gonna force them to dump energy. Okay, doesn't quite KO and is able to absorb the energy really nice. They're able to bank the move. This is really nice here. This is where the energy manager is super critical. And then uh, we will see what the opponent's gonna do. Is a Runga Regis here? 
does get the extra poison jab in. We'll see if they wait or they'll just throw the double aqua tail. Oh, they make a beautiful catch onto Polyrath. Uh, really could have waited there, but that's okay. And they they have a scald anyways, right? Going, I think going for the aqua tail was the safest play there, but this 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 match is over anyways, right? Uh, I think they'll survive this very weak uh, sand tube. They will. And uh, going to go for the Scald here. Almost at 100 energy here. And going to be able to take out this Arungarigas with the Scald. No dynamic punch. And able to win the next game here. And I believe this is the third game here. They had a rematch. I'm not sure if they just didn't show me the rematch. Looks like they're having a discussion. Okay, apparently someone is cracked. Not sure if that's a European term for something. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna have to ask one of the youngins here. Okay, looks like they're having a whole conversation here. All right, we're going to have Charizard into Pile of Swine. Obviously, in the zero, this is a good matchup for Charizard. I'm not sure if this Charizard survives the Avalanche here. We do a tremendous amount of damage here. Going to go for the Blast Burn. Baited a lot, though. Let, let's see if they they will... Sh oh, they don't shield. That's actually, that's actually pretty brutal here. We'll see if that Charizard comes... Okay, it's Polyrath. Oh, gonna catch the Scald onto Minin. Very, I like this play. I like this play. Very nice. And then here comes uh, Surfetch. Um, he let this go, right? Definitely no point in shielding here. Oh shoot, this is actually, is this a different game here? I just realized there's no, there's no Surfetch on this opposing team. Okay, must be, must be this team. What? No. Am I crazy here? Okay. This is a different opponent? No, this is uh. oh no, sorry. There's a Surfetch there. Okay, never mind, never mind. I, I was looking at the top one. Okay, never mind. Just ignore me. I'm going crazy here. Going crazy here. Okay, all right. But this, this, they're in a very good spot here. Gonna no shield this. Come in Charizard. A few wing attacks will put them into, maybe like two wing attacks will put them into Dragon Claw range, to be honest. Uh, okay, you're gonna go straight for the Blast Burn. Maybe, um, let's see here. They, they shield here. Gonna go for another Blast Burn. They shield again. Oh, I think you let this go, right? Gonna shield here, interesting. Okay, anticipating the catch there, very nice. This should be okay. Should be able to easily survive this dynamic punch. And then honestly, could, oh, they actually go for the Scald. Oh, okay, I'm not 100% not sure about that play, but um, am I crazy? Doesn't the dynamic punch do more damage? Um, Maybe they could have... I, I think they threw the game there. I think if they dynamic punch, they would have been able to counter down. They And they certainly, uh, Surfetch would win CMP over Charizard. So I think that was a thrown game there, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to go into this next matchup here. Uh, this opponent has Surfetch, Charizard, Zapdos, uh, Polyrath, Urungarigas, and Pyloswine, and running the exact same team here. But we'll see if this person will be able to find... Crack to the oh, they actually end up shadow balling. Oh, I actually did not KO. Interesting. Um, and we see the dragon claw come up. Okay, I must have missed part of this game here. Oh man, how did okay? Well, they have a shield here, right? So this should be uh, should be game over here, right? And gonna be able to did I miss? Oh, I think I'm no, no, okay, all right. I guess we just started recording in the middle of I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, uh, 
that was the middle of game one, I guess. And uh, we see already went 3 0, so we already know the result here. And we will see how they want to play this out. I'm going to go for the bait this time. We will see if they will shield the bait. Oh, they call it. Okay, going to CMP tie with the Dragon Claw. We'll see if the opponent wants a shield or not. They do not. And they come into Zapdos here. This is a drill peck, right? Too quick for the Thunderbolt. We'll easily survive the drill peck. Does a pretty good amount of damage. And we're going to see the Aqua Tail come through. We'll see if the Zapdos sets shield does. They're going to have to throw. They're probably going to throw in CMP. Very nice. Makes, makes sense. You let this go, right? Yeah, let this go. They do have a little bit of residual energy. Oh, they actually are running Spark uh, this time. Makes sense. Spark is better against Polyrath, Charizard, and Zapdos. And I guess Quick Attack is really only better for... Okay, good. able to reach the, the move again. The Grass Knot. Oh, did have the... Oh, okay. Oh, they actually did go for the Shadow Ball there, which is... Uh, and gonna CMP tie. Very fortunate call there, and gonna be able to uh, Dragon Claw and take out this uh, Zapdos and uh, win. I don't know. I don't know if that was all the games there, but uh, I think that's all the games I got from from that matchup. But played uh, really well there. So, all right, we're gonna move on to this last one here, and I believe they're actually. No, okay, this person has... Whoa, okay, they're running Trev. Okay, Trev and Gligar. Very spicy team here. As spicy as Ember can get, I suppose. All right, looks like this one is uh, sped up already. So, okay, we're just going to uh, slow it down a little bit here. And I believe these are three different uh, matches here. Uh, three different video clips. So they do end up scalding here. Running this double fire variant. Uh, we'll see if they end up shielding this blast burn. Oh, okay. Oh, able to farm down. And then here comes, uh, here comes Quillfish. Try to catch the move. They're, they they want to throw the Aqua Tail anyways. But we'll see what's in the back. Maybe it's Trev. Hmm. Okay, gonna throw the Aqua Tail. A little bit concerned by the catch, I'm sure. Okay, oh, they catch on Charizard. Okay, well, I'm not sure that catch makes uh, necessarily that much sense here, but in a good spot here, can just trade Dragon Claw. Yeah, gonna Dragon Claw. The opposing Charizard can also Dragon Claw too, right? They're two off. Okay. We're gonna let this go. They do Dragon Claw, which is uh, less energy efficient, even though it's uh, neutral. Okay, gonna V create here. Gonna let this go. We'll see if the Dragon Claw is not enough here. Does get the CMP tie. And then. Uh, We'll see how this is going to play at the end. Yeah, has the Dragon Claw, and this is definitely going to take out the Quillfish. It's still a shield too, right? So this is this is game over there. Really well played game there. Really well played game. All right, Polyrath into Quillfish is a good lead here, or generally a good lead. Um, we'll see if the opponent is going to attempt to catch. I'm gonna go for the Scald. Again, I think the Dynamic Punch has more damage, but maybe expecting a shield. No shield. Did get that attack fall, so it doesn't need to shield this. They do end up Shadow Balling. Does a quite a bit of damage though. Okay, gonna catch, preserve the energy here. Again, energy management is really critical here. And then here comes <laughs> the opposing Polyrath. 
Uh, unfortunately, they are in a range of dynamic punch. I don't think they're in range of scald. They do throw the dynamic punch. Obviously, the scald would come with a, a debuff uh, if, it, if it were to win that coin flip. And we see the Shadow Ball come through. Oh, man. Able to farm down here. Charizard in the back, right? Show me the Charizard. It is Charizard. Does have the Scald banked. There are two. They actually end up letting it go here. Just going to fast move down this opposing team. Oh, man. That is... Are you going to throw the Dragon Claw here for some reason? I guess, like, you get two Dragon Claws off. I don't think it's really necessary, to be honest. Because then you lose that on wing wing attack damage here. Or one wing attack's worth of damage. Which would have KO'd the Charizard. Uh, but I guess you, you'll you survive this move. And then uh, just throw it. The Quillfish here. And you have the... Well, let's see. Well, like, honestly, you just fast move down here. Yeah, I, I don't think throwing there made that much sense, to be honest. Because uh, the I guess maybe lost track of... How much health the quillfish had but this is going to be the final game i'm going to show off and uh we're going to see minin into quillfish and we'll see how they're going to play this out obviously discharge is what you want to land but obviously you don't want them to catch I'm gonna throw the discharge will they shadow ball or will they not i'm guessing they're going to straight shadow ball Oh, they actually Aqua Tail here. It's safer play, I guess. Just let this go here. And I would probably just go straight Quillfish after this. Because you barely survive this. Oh, banking a move here. I love that play. Love, love that play. And we will see how they're going to play this out. Going to throw the Shadow Ball here. The Polyrath will definitely survive the Shadow Ball. Okay, let's see if they get debuffed here. No debuff there, which is actually really huge because it looks like you can farm down. Oh, that's actually so critical there. Uh, very fortunate. Obviously, 50-50 situation here. Show me the Charizard. Show me the Charizard, and I will show you Aqua Tail. And in a really good spot here. Oh, God. This, these are ridiculous plays. That was a very nice catch there. And the opponent kind of had no choice but to throw there. Oh man, now you just double Dragon Claw here, right? And if they shield this, you just let this go. They they should let it go. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, obviously they didn't keep track of the energy. You just let this go here. You have the move stored on Minin. Absolutely wonderful play here. And go oh, have has a bunch of moves stored. Gonna throw the Aqua Tail onto the Charizard, and the opponent looks like. Had enough and Quillfish mean mugging this Charizard and uh, Lavis showing off his absolute part of his absolutely dominant run. And congratulations to him for the tremendous play this cycle or last cycle, I should say, and as well for the Snow Tappers for winning. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.